So a lot going on. 2020 training camp for the Philadelphia Eagles will start tomorrow, the 28th, and there is a lot of news today. Some news here and there. Doug Peterson at his press conference this morning uh, had a lot to say. There was only a few things that I really took into account that were very important, so I want to go over those right now. Doug Peterson talked about Jason Peters coming back. Uh, obviously, they've been in talks for months, and I believe that. So moving to right guard um, says that it's not going to be a lot very easy. But um, between, between Jason Peters and, and just at being a veteran and what he could do, um, said that should be no problem moving in between Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson. Thinks it's going to be really good for him, um, which makes him versatile for this year. God forbid something does happen. Then he talked about Andre Dillard at left tackle, said he's had a spectacular offseason, looks stronger, looks ready, looks prepared. And, um, you know, I know Doug sugarcoats a lot of these press conferences, but Doug has a lot of praise for Andre Dillard at left tackle this year. So, I mean, you know, it's it's hard to believe Doug on certain things with these press conferences, but if I could say if he really sees good things coming out of Andre Dillard this offseason um, and he's ready, I could say that's a pretty good thing because, I, you know, I'm kind of a little worried about the beginning of when he starts getting his reps uh, against uh, players in another uniform. But I think down the road, Andre Dillard will become one of the best tackles in the league. And uh, I think, you know, he just needs more reps, obviously. Doug was asked about the question about no preseason. How do you develop your players? How do you get your hands on all your, your rookies and your young guys coming into camp? And I got to say, it's pretty hard to do that. And so Doug pretty much said that there's going to be like scrimmage games where they're going to work a little harder, make game... Uh, type situations at practice. They're going to do like actual game scrimmages um, where it's going to be very competitive. So I could see that happening. I kind of already knew that was going to happen. They're not just going to run a regular practice and position meetings and, and do stuff like that. I mean, obviously that does come into account, but once you have all this time uh, in August when you should be having four preseason games, you're going to be on the field with your own players, no joint practices, no dress rehearsal, no none of that. Um, should be very interesting. But Doug said he's been in contact with all the rookies. He's virtually seen them work out, virtually see how they're doing, where their mindset is. He said everybody has a very good mindset going into camp right now. Really no distractions, e distractions even with this pandemic that is already here right now. So a beat writer asked, how do you really develop and, and how do you see like who's going to be on this team even with the veteran guys coming back even with some of the rookies coming in you kind of you know you kind of say to yourself how do you get these guys prepared how do you see enough to where they make the roster or you don't see enough to where um you know they're going to be kicked off this team or put on practice squad so uh there's a lot that goes into this but doug pearson said that um you know there's, there's usually a couple rookies that are going to pan out for you that are going to do very well with this team and he thinks this year there are a few guys out there that are going to show something. So Doug has some promise in some of these rookies. Obviously, I don't know if he's just saying that. But, I mean, I think we do as fans. I think we see a lot of potential. But the problem is they need to get their reps. Doug has to get them on the field. They Everyone needs to get an equal chance. Since there's no preseason, every guy on this team gets an equal chance. Because when you have preseason and you're in game-like situations, some of these guys just don't are not able to get reps, and when they have reps, they don't pan out. When you go to practice, your own facility, your own practice, your own players only, you get to control how many reps that each of these guys do get, whether they're veterans or they're rookies. So I'm expecting that everybody, and I really hope that they do, that everybody gets an equal chance coming to this, you know, coming to this camp in the next couple of days um, you know, get the equal opportunity. Obviously, we're in phase one of training camp, which it's going to be the lifting and the running and all the physical work, obviously, before they put the pads on by the end of phase three or phase four. So it should be very interesting to see what happens. I'm praying to God that a lot of these guys work out. I can't wait to see these guys on the field. It's been very exciting seeing the Eagles helmet, seeing just seeing the midnight green all over again. Other than that, guys, really all he talked about was just, you know, them staying safe, you know, just how they handled everything. Thing. 
Uh, someone asked about if anyone got COVID-19 when they came in or when they got tested. And uh, obviously he can't relay that information. That's all about the doctors. It's personal information. So he couldn't relay that, which I knew he wasn't going to say anything. I mean, in my opinion, I don't think anyone has COVID because the, they, the Eagles did the smart thing and they brought everybody into the city two weeks before training camp. So uh, everybody was pretty much in good hands. I don't think anyone has COVID on this team, which is great. Um, so everyone's healthy. Everyone's good. Some guys are checking into the facility now as we speak. Uh, so I want to know your guys' opinion on like with the no preseason. I want to know what you guys think about. Does every you know do they do the Eagles have an advantage now to give every player equal opportunity since there's no preseason? They can make game like situations with scrimmages. Um, giving these guys opportunities, like fourth stringers or guys that are drafting the fifth or sixth round to go against guy, you know, go against our starting corners or or something like that. They better give these guys equal opportunity because that's what I'm looking for. So um, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys later. Shake split up, fly, I'll fly.